Welcome to NASA GeneLab. GeneLab is the first comprehensive omics database for space-related research in which users can upload, download, share, store, and analyze spaceflight and corresponding analog biological data. In this video, we will present an overview of the GeneLab website, data, and available tools and how to navigate through each of them. On the home page, use the top menu to navigate through the different pages. Learn about GeneLab, explore the data and tools, find information about research and various resources, and use the help menu for tutorials and contact information. You may also use the buttons here to navigate through the various data and tools available in the GeneLab data system. Scroll down to read about the latest data releases, latest news, spotlight stories, NASA research opportunities, and current publications. Let's now explore the GeneLab data system. On the GeneLab data systems, or GLDS, you'll find a description about the data system, types of data, tools, and how to submit your data. Use the top menu to navigate through the different spaces. The data repository hosts all the public spaceflight and space-related data sets in the GeneLab database. The environmental data page includes data from spacecraft or payload environment for spaceflight experiments. Currently, you'll find radiation dissymmetry data that is available for spaceflight data sets. Under the Tools menu, click to access the Analysis Platform to analyze omics data or the Collaborator Workspace to upload, store, and share files. If you have space-related omics data, use this page for step-by-step -step instructions on how to submit your data. Use the Tools and Help menu for guidance and contact information. Now let's explore the data repository. The data repository lists all the available data sets in the GeneLab database. You may search the repository by using the search bar or GeneLab search filters. In the search bar, enter keywords. For example, mouse, liver, and click the magnifying glass or enter to search. You may also search across various databases, such as NIHGO, EBI Pride, and ANL MGRAS. To search using the filters, clear your previous search and only have GeneLab checked. Use the filters to search through the different fields. Let's search for spaceflight under project type, under organism, Bacillus subtilis, and assay type, transcription profiling. Once you found the data set of interest, click the title to access the metadata and the data files. Use the tab menu to navigate through the metadata. Under description, you will find an overview of the investigation, mission details, and contact information. All the protocols are listed and described here. The samples and assay tabs provide sample and assay level information about the experiment. You may export the sample or assay table by clicking Select Export Columns, select the columns of interest, and click Export CSV to download your file. You may also use the filter icon to sort and filter through the columns and rows. If available, the associated publications are linked here. Under study files, all the available data files are listed here. To download the data file, select the folder of interest and click on the data file name. Now let's head to tools and log into the collaborative workspace. To access the tools, you'll need to create a Google account or use a current Google ID. Once you've created a Google ID, click on Sign in with Google and enter your username and password. For users with NASA credentials, please log in using the NASA Launchpad Authenticate button and enter your credentials. Both tools use the same account information. Let's log in. The Workspace provides users a platform to upload, store, and share files. 
The left directory panel provides an overview of all group directories and files. Your private directory is listed first, displayed as your username. Your shared directory includes folders and files shared with you by your collaborators, displayed with shared to and your username. The public directory contains all the studies in the public gene lab repository. Let's go through each directory. Click into your private directory. To upload files, create a subdirectory. This is done by either using the menu above or right-clicking for the menu. For this example, we will right-click and select Create Subdirectory in the menu. Type in your folder name and click Create. Navigate to the folder and upload your files by dragging and dropping from your local computer. A status of your upload will be provided in the bottom left corner. Once your upload has completed, use the top menu or right click to see the menu with all the functions that can be performed. For example, you may want to share this file with your collaborator. To share, click sharing in the menu, edit sharing, enter the username, then grant permissions. To see files shared with you, click into your shared directory. To explore the data repository, click the public directory, then GeneLab. Once you have selected your study of interest, you can download files or copy files to your private directory. To copy files to your private workspace, use the right-click menu, select Copy Move, select the folder, then click Copy. That file has now been copied to your selected folder. From the workspace, users can also launch and access available tools. Let's head to the analysis platform. In the analysis platform, users can analyze omics data. On the left-hand side, you can search and select tools from the tool shed. For example, if I select tool fast QC, I can select files from my history, select parameters, and click execute to start the job. View the history panel on the right hand side to see job status and results. You can also browse and analyze shared data and workflows provided in the shared data menu. For detailed steps on how to use the platform and perform RNA-seq analysis, follow the RNA-seq analysis tutorial located under the help menu.